My dad was a barber in Minnesota. He painted signs in between customers, so cut hair. So I watched that and said, I want to do that. And I sought out sign shops and then I worked at a couple in the summer until I could go to a school. That's how I started. There was no computers making letters. And then when it came, I thought, like everybody else, there's the end. As much as I've traveled the world, everybody can get the same clip art CD. So I've seen the same plumber with the pipe wrench in different countries. I mean, come on, draw it with your hands and use your head. That's what it's about. I think we're in the Renaissance right now, hand painting signs, because digital has made everything too perfect. And people want to see personality in it again. They want to see a mistake here or there. People asked me, saying, hey, maybe you should teach this, because you know so much about it, you've been in it so long. Well, I'm not a teacher, I don't know what's going on, and we set up a class, but it turned out pretty good. And I thought, well, I got a lot more to offer than this. I think what I'm different from other teachers or sign painters from it is, it isn't about money, I'm not just seeing how many I can and get to the next town. I want to know everybody, I want to help them, so the tattooist, graffiti, I don't care where they're from when they come in my class. As a sign painter, we have to do so many things. We have to wear so many hats. We're doing an ad agency's job as well. This is going to be your image. I always tell people the next sign, that's my best.